Let's play some soccer in a board game form. I've actually not played a lot of soccer games, in fact, but I have played a lot of baseball, a lot of football. We just finished playing a hockey game, but soccer or football and anywhere else in you know the world other than the United States is something I haven't actually tried all that much. This game is kind of an aggressive two-player game if you play with multiple players in a league setting, which is where I really think it's meant to shine. You're going to be getting a defender, a goalie, a striker, and a midline, and you'll be rolling dice attempting to move the ball from one of your players to another player and then hopefully scoring a goal by rolling the die correctly pulling it all together and uh, dodging your opponents there's also some tactics cards which you can use in the more advanced games there is events and additionally you will have managers because you're also going to be doing a bit of a draft at the break point of each game and before the beginning of your first game. If you can score the most goals in a game, you'll progress in a league-style fashion. And if you're able to beat everyone, you'll be declared the soccer championship team of the world! Okay, let's go take a look at the game. Next goal wins down below. So here we have a two-player game set up for next goal wins. And as you can see, we've got the board for the game, which is going to include the field and positions for both players. You'll either be playing as the red side or as the blue side with your striker, your mid, your defense, and your goalkeep which is going to have a card on each of the spaces. And on each of the spaces is going to represent a different type of player. And these players will have different stats. And they're going to be doing things like passing or crossing, dribbling and shooting, and of course heading as well. They can intercept, block, and even tackle other players. They're also going to have a unique star system, which will determine their strength or their athleticism. Basically, the better players are going to have more stars. The players who are not so good will have less stars. They'll have the country of origin and some of their stats like you would normally see on a baseball card, soccer card, something from your favorite team. Uh, basically, at the beginning of the game, you're going to be drafting. You'll be drafting from each of the decks individually and placing down the selected chosen goalies and whatnot onto their respective areas. And the person who decided to go first is uh, going to start with the ball here. And this is the ball. And the ball is going to be on the goalkeeper of the player beginning. And uh, there is additional things in the game we can talk about as well. So we obviously here have 0-0, zero to zero, which is the score track. We're going to have attacks that each team gets to do. They'll each get a certain amount of attempts, provided that the other team doesn't steal the ball. And after that, they will go ahead and switch, and it'll go back and forth throughout the entire game. This is a die that will mainly be used on ties whenever you roll the die and add up your benefits and bonuses uh, and subtract it from your opponents. If it's a tie, you'll usually roll this, which could result in trying again, losing the ball, or some type of yellow card. There is also die for each player, the blue and red player, in which you'll be rolling in addition to whatever you're trying to do in the game, which will be determined based on what you're... Uh, attempting to do so passing or shooting or dribbling and that kind of stuff as well these are managers which you can use as a variant in the game they'll give you certain benefits and potentially negatives there's also tactics cards which you can play on your turn that will provide something interesting to happen throughout the game and even event cards too which can change game to game maybe something a freak injury can occur a freak accident in training has resulted in a serious injury for one of your uh, highest rated players keep them out for the rest of the season so some bad stuff can occur and some good stuff as well and you'll be setting these aside and using them in the next games because you actually be playing this game kind of like a tiered fashion where you can play with multiple players two by two by two by two playing in a you know going through this like triangles type you know if you ever played smash brothers or whatever you beat this person you move on to the next rank and so on and so forth so, like I said before, you get three tries on your turn, and when you start with the goalie, the goalie will have options as far as offensive. He can go ahead and pass, throw, or punt. If he punts it, he can pass it all the way to his striker. If he throws it, he can pass it to his midline, or, yeah, midline and then passing, he's just going to simply go ahead and pass it straight to his defender. Now, the trick is, of course, to get from one area to the next, up to the point where you can get past the goalkeeper of your opponent's side and score a goal. And the way that works is, if you actually look in the rule book here, it's rather simple. There's a lot of different stats and what not but they have handy dandy little charts here and based on what you're choosing to do is what you're going to have to look at as far as bonuses that you'll get so for instance if i want to pass the ball from here to here i'll look at my passing stat i'll look at the defender's stat that involves passing which might be blocking tackling or intercepting and then we will roll the die and add up the difference so let's say that this guy had five and this guy had one you would go ahead and say okay so the difference is four we'll roll the die here add them up six plus four is ten and this is just going to be the five 
plus one, which is six, in which case this player would succeed and push the ball even further. Now, like I said, ties will result in you having to roll this die here, and other things can occur throughout the game. There's certain abilities that each player may or may not have, depending on their strength as well as their stats, that will give them some unique aspect. And like I said before, there are different things you can do in the game, whether it be uh, tackling somebody or intercepting the ball and that kind of thing as well. But regardless, you're going to go through that. And after one side has taken their three actions, you go ahead and put these things on here to signify that they've taken their three shots of trying to get a goal then the next side will get an opportunity the ball will likely switch and progress going back and forth so where you play like you feel like you're playing a game of soccer and if you score a goal you'll simply change your marker from zero to one as zero to two and so on and so forth the person who has the most goals at the end of the game is the winner of next goal wins pretty simple but a little bit of complexity and a little bit of die rolling luck that is involved in the game based on what you draft let's come up and discuss what i think about the game so let's talk about next goal wins and the idea of the game which i gave you a good rundown of how it plays i didn't specify all the exact ways in which you can change certain things like for instance it tells you in the rule book right upon receiving a pass or a punt the striker will have to do a shooting test versus the goalkeeper's saving if you're doing header then it's a crawl it's a heading versus catching dribbling versus rushing out and so there's stat versus stat and so there's different interactions based on the choices the player who's being offensive will make uh, of course there's gonna be resolving actions there's stalemates certain things will happen players can get in trouble for and not being the most nice uh, players when it comes to maybe knocking somebody over or uh, messing with another player in some way. There's substitutions you can take place in. There's a bunch of different tactics and events that can change the game. And of course, you can add more to the game if you want to play something a little more, a little less simplistic than how the game originally starts. In a lot of ways, the game is a die rolling game where you're going to check one stat and uh, kind of compare it to another stat based on a die roll. And if you're successful, you will eventually score a goal. Now, of course, personally for me, I prefer playing with all the variants. I like to add the tactics. I like to add the random events. And I like the drafting of the different characters. Now, drafting characters, yes, you'll have the choices, but sometimes you might be left with just poor star character choices. You might not get all the highest rated teams, and so you'll need to have more luck on your side if you don't get the strategy down to begin the game with. But as you play, the better you're going to get, the more you're going to understand. All the cards remind me of the old style backside of a baseball card, where it tells you all their stats and scores and all that stuff, as well as how they would likely fare against another player and any specialties they may have. So each character is going to have some individual differences compared to another player. Overall, this game feels like a soccer game. You do feel like you're moving back and forth. There is quite a bit of luck in it, which is something that for me, I'm not as much fond of. So I like more of the aspects of the drafting. I like the aspects of choosing my positioning and how I want to go about choosing which ones I want to move through. Now, obviously, certain players are going to be better than others. So even though there's a lot of luck in this specific game, you can choose to counterbalance that luck with choosing the best stat option for yourself and the worst for your opponent. Now, it might take a longer time to get to the goal, and in that case, your luck might eventually run out even if it's on your side, or you can push through as hard as you possibly can, pray for the goal, and eventually and, and score as opposed to eventually moving along. You want to be the tortoise or do you want to be the hare in this game? I also really like the fact that the game plays in kind of a tournament setting, which is different than a lot of games I've seen. You'll sit here and play and somebody else can come. You can play with multiple different games, I would imagine, or just the same one and players can come back and forth in a party type of setting, in which case you will feel like you're going through the World Cup which I think is what I'd want to call it, the World Cup. I think that's soccer, maybe, I suppose. Regardless, though, if this game is interesting to you and you'd like to take a look at it, you can go ahead and take it out down below. It's on Kickstarter. Next goal wins the soccer fighting combat style shooting game of, of making the goals and stuff. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, I look forward to scoring on you next time.